guest of our blessed nation. You're welcome to Vicky Village Models Virtual Mathematics Class. Mathematics is not only easy, but it's also interesting, exciting, and of course, very simple as it's applicable to our everyday life. I am your model teacher, Victoria. Let's go on a ride with Mathematics. Grade Basic 2. This is Episode 8, Part 2. In part one, we dealt with the topic plane shapes and lines of symmetry. What are plane shapes? They are plane figures that lies on flat surfaces. And of course, we were told that shapes can be grouped into two, namely the two-dimensional shapes, which are shapes with length and breadth. They do not have heights. Example, triangle, rhombus, rectangle, kite, square, etc. And also, the second type of group is three-dimensional shapes. These are shapes that have length, breadth, and height. Examples, cuboid, cone, cylinder, cube, etc. Our focus in part two is on pictogram is on pictogram and bar charts my target during and at the end of this lesson is that you should be able to define pictogram tally bar charts and of course answer simple questions involving these terms above what do you understand by pictogram a pictogram is a chart that uses pictures to represent data. Pictogram is a chart that uses pictures to represent data. Pictogram uses pictures to show the numbers involved in a data, like what you have seen on the screen. This is a beautiful sample of a pictogram, otherwise called pictogram. You can see the fruit and the number of children that choose one fruit or the other. Are we together? Quickly, let's do an exercise on pictogram. The table below shows the type of animals in a farm. Study the table carefully and answer the questions. Animals, goats, rabbits, cows, geese and hogs. A. There are dash goats. We have four goats. There are dash geese. We have six geese. We have six goose. There are more dash animals than others. There are more rabbits than others. So, we write here, we we'll use letter R to represent rabbits. There are fewer dash than other animals. There are fewer horses. We we'll use letter H to represent horses. There are dash more cows than horses. Cows. We have five cows and three horses so we have two more cows so we write number two that's all about pictogram let's consider bar charts a bar chart is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights display data with bars Bar chart can be in two ways, namely the vertical chart or the horizontal format. It can be displayed in two ways. Under here, this example on the slide is a vertical representation of a bar chart. And this is the horizontal represented 
bar chart. The same information but different displays. Let's consider questions with bar charts. We'll first of all, answer these questions before we go into the graphical display. The pupils went out to look for ants in different places within the school premises. Long grasses, they found the number of ants, the short grasses, the under the wood, in the pond, and on leafy plants. Note, each ant represents five ants. Therefore, for each location, you multiply the sum by five. Let's look at this question. Where was the most common place to find ants? Where was the most common place to find ants? That's where we found the most ants. And that was at the pond. How many ants were found there? Look. Let's sum what we have at the pond row before we multiply by 5. We had a total of 8 ants at the pond. So we multiply 8 by 5, that's 40. So the most common place was the pond. How many ants were found there? We just said 40 use letter A for ants. So 40 ants. Where was the least common place to find ants? That was the short grass area. So we will use S H. How many ants were found there? That's 2 times 5. 10 ants. How many more ants were found in the long grass than the short grass? The short grass, we had a total of 25 ants. The short grass, we had 10 ants. Therefore, 25 minus 10 is 15 ants. Last question, how many ants were found in total that day? All we need to do is to add every ant in each place and multiply by 5. Let's do that quickly. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 8 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. 25 times 5 is 75. So that day the children found 75 ants. amazing we will use this information to plot a graph for the long grass we had 25 ants all together so from the origin this was for the long grass the short grass we had 10 ants S H for the short we use S G for the short grass at the pond 40 ants were found from the origin this is for the pond under the wood, 30 ants. U, W for under the wood. And finally, on leafy plants, 20 ants. This is for leaf plants. This is how the graphical representation of that data is done. When you're doing yours, you use a ruler and ensure you begin at the horizontal line. 
notice because i'm doing a freehand drawing i went below the horizontal line i'm not supposed to go below this horizontal line so ensure you use a ruler when you're doing yours and more so the name of the places should have also been written under the horizontal line right here long grass and so on and so forth not inside the bars do we understand it's very exciting and very simple tally what do you understand by tally tally marks are used to count or keep scores they are used for counting or keep score let's take a look at this chart below number one is just one stroke number two two strokes and you get to number four four strokes up to number five four vertical strokes and a slanted one cutting across the four vertical strokes this is how tallies are represented let's take a workable example using the tally to present the data make a tally for the items above how many cakes are there count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's put it here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven how many sweets are there one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven how many ice creams are there one two three four five one two three four five that's very interesting let's answer the following questions which item is the fewest in number that's ice creams we use abbreviation ic how many more cakes did they buy more than sweets had 11 cakes and seven sweets so 11 minus 7 is 4. So 4 more cakes. Alright. Which item counts more than 8? That's the cake. What is the total of the 3 items? We simply say 11 plus 7, 18. 18 plus 5, 23 so the total of the items is 23 all together homework what is pictogram number two page 284 exercise 6 question a to j for reference purposes we're using iconic showers mathematics textbooks for primary schools book three if you do not have this textbook make do with the textbook you have practice the exercises in your textbook for accurate understanding as it stands we have come to the end of episode eight remain the good child you have always been Did you see that? It was not only easy, but it was also very interesting and so exciting. Awesome. All right. See you in our next lesson. Let's keep a date. Bye-bye.